up everyone welcome back to another video so in today's video we're we are going to be painting the calipers i've been procrastinating it for about three months because i don't want to do it i don't feel like sanding and <clears throat> prepping these uh calipers but yeah i don't like the color anymore so we're gonna start we're gonna paint them a white and see if that makes them pop so yeah let's jump right into it get the car jacked up get the wheels off and get the calipers off All right, so we got the calipers out, all six. These are the new ones I did for the Hydro E-Brake. And these been on the car for about, I don't know, probably like eight years. This paint already coming off. This one should be easy. But dude, these are all gunked up. And I need new brake pads. I don't know if you guys can see. They're so dirty. Time for, for, time for some new brakes. Sheesh. All right, let's get these uh, sanded down. Okay, a little update. So I used a wire wheel for this caliper and half of this caliper, but it was taking too long, so I got this from AutoZone. Aircraft remover, you put it on, let, wait like 45 minutes. And let's check this out right here, look at this. Pretty, I'm pretty sure I could just pressure wash them now. All right, so here we go. I got the calipers all hanging up underneath this table, all six of them. So it's my little paint booth. This is like the this is my dog heater for the winter. I put them in the garage with this heater, so I don't really care if it gets paint on it. So it's not that cold outside, but I am leaving in a couple hours, so I want to at least get the primer down and then. The actual paint down on them so we're gonna use this right here primer I think this is usually for um, headers and stuff so I think calipers you need at least 900 degrees this is 1300 to 2000 this should be uh, perfect actually so yeah start with the first coat and maybe I'll do all three coats and then I'll come back and grab you guys Alrighty, we're back. Two and a half coats on the calipers. It, it covered pretty good. Um, this stuff dries fast. So I'll probably let it dry for another 10 minutes. It's probably been dry for 10 minutes already. Probably do like another 10 to 20. And then we're going to cover it with this. This is for headers. It's a satin white. They didn't have white or gloss white and uh, or for the calipers. So I had to grab the paint for the headers. And again, it's 1300 to 2000 for calipers. You just need 900 uh, degrees. But I do have a high gloss. I'm going to throw on top of this. So at the end of it, it will be gloss white. So I'm going to let this dry. Get these coats on there. And... We'll come and take a look at how it is going. All right, so I have about three to four coats on the calipers now. Looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna throw a clear coat on. This is for calipers. 900 degrees. And this is clear coat. I have two cans of this. So I'll probably use both of them. I might get three and a half to four coats out of them. And yeah, it should be shiny after. All right, so I got these relocation lines from Chase Bay. Um, I had these for about five or six months. But let me show you where they're gonna go. So those are gonna replace these hard lines right here. Off the brake, master cylinder. So three of them are going to be bolted up to this or installed to this. One is going to this front brake. And then the other two lines are going down here in front of the subframe, in front of the racket pinion. Make it nice and neat, tucked under there. One's going to that wheel. And then another one is going to another line which goes to both of the rear brakes. <laughs> All the lines are 
lines around. I think there's like five lines. One, two, three, four. yeah, five lines. I know you guys with the two. Uh, you guys have two forty, but like, why do you have so many lines? So in that corner, I used to have an ABS system, and I took it out because it was kept blocking up my brakes. So I've been running no ABS for about. I had this car for like nine or ten years, so probably like right when I got the car, I took it out. So yeah, so we're gonna install these new brake lines and route them and see how they uh, line up. Yeah. Alright, so I got them all on. I don't know if you can see three of them there. And then you guys can see kind of blurry I'm going to zip tie them together so they're away from the turbo manifold and I try to run the brake lines in front of the subframe but the passenger line wasn't long enough so I had to run it through the back of the subframe I'm basically on top of the vacuum pinion and they were perfect so so yeah, so they fit good. Looks way better. We're getting there. Still gotta clean up all that junk. But one step at a time. All right, so we have drill and slotted rotors. These are made by Power Stop. And I got, um, what are they called? Stop Tech 309 brake pads all the way around the car. And I switched the color from white to black for the calipers. I wanted white, but I messed it up. And I was like, you know what? I think black would just black goes with everything. So just paint them black. So I told my wife to paint them black, and she painted them, and it came out. That's eh, a little fuzzy, a little way better than mine did. And it came out. So it came out pretty good. There's the back. That's the front. So yeah, I can't wait to test these brakes out. So now we're gonna start bleeding them. My boy's gonna come back and he's gonna help me uh, with this bleeder that he let me use. For some reason, I suck with these brake bleeders. He says he this thing works good. I used it. I couldn't even get it to work. So he's gonna come over and help me out. So we're gonna wait on him until then. What's up, guys? This is the next day. My boy D came over and I literally forgot to record. But we got the brakes bled. Got the hydro e-brake bled. Um, yeah, the calipers are painted, the new rotors and brake pads are on, new lines. Pretty happy with the car. Uh, let's check it out. Looks pretty good. Once I get the dream wheels that I want, the calipers and the rotors are going to pop like crazy. I'm not going to say what I'm going to get. I'm pretty sure I probably said it in other videos, but I'm not too sure. But yeah, that's the rear. And here's the front. Can't tell if it's popping a lot on camera, but yeah, the sun is pretty bright right now. All right, so I think that's it for this video. Uh, thanks to my wife for helping me paint the calipers uh, after I messed them up. She actually helped me out and took the initiative to go ahead and paint them for me. And thanks for my thanks to my boy D for helping me bleed the brakes. Uh, big thanks. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and catch you guys next week.